Hi, I'm Patrick. And I'm Liv. And this is the Mach-E Vlog. Today and tomorrow, we're at an EV summit and we're gonna vlog the whole experience. Yeah, so let's go. Good morning, everyone. We are here in Los Angeles for an EV Media Summit put on by Out of Spec Studios. Super excited. Two days, Saturday and Sunday, lots of EVs that we get to drive and play with. So we are super excited. Yeah, <laughs> we're on our way right now to a rooftop a parking that has a whole bunch of chargers and there are gonna be a whole bunch of cars there, a whole bunch of EVs. What are we gonna see? Uh, Audi, VW, Nissan, Porsche. Arkimoto. Uh, oh. Oh, and a couple GTs. Mach-E GT. There's gonna be a cyber orange and a grabber blue and we can't decide, like, should we take the grabber blue GT and then it's like an exact comparison? I think the cyber orange though, because that's what I would pick if I got a GT, I think, right? Yeah. We'll see. Anyway, let's get there. How cool is this roof? Oh my gosh. There's my car. <laughs> Oh my gosh. How cool is this? Whose is this? Is this ours? Here are all the amazing EVs we have on offer, but of course the one that I'm looking at is not one of ours. It's a little mini, mini electric. Look how cute it is. With the asymmetrical wheels. Oh, it's so cute. I love that. But we got some good cars to look at today, so it's all right. Look at that, kilowatts, Model Y wrap in orange, very nice. And the fun utility vehicles, our Kimotos. The last time we saw that was the city of Encinitas was doing a pilot program with them and, and using them, kind of perfect application really. So Ooh. look at all of us here doing stuff. There's different drive modes as well, and uh, yeah, uh, neat thing if you drive though, that's the only way you can really spot the electric one versus the gas one. Uh, full battery electric, mid 70 kilowatt hour batteries. These are some of the first GTs in the country, so you're going to be literally among the first to be able to drive these cars, and Ford has uh, allowed everyone to, to drive the cars, which is great. Um, uh, this one is a non-performance edition, that one is a performance edition. They make the exact same amount of horsepower, this one makes more torque. Yeah. Zero sixty, you know, again that mid seventy kilowatt hour battery package, right supercharging network, autopilot stuff. There's a few different versions of this car. Uh, super luxurious car. So if you get in, there's massaging seats, there's hot massaging seats, really cool. It has totally different experience modes. This is the Audi RS e-tron GT, uh, basically a um, you know Audi's flagship electric car, really insane machines. And then KP, could you share a little bit about the Leaf? I certainly can. Leaf's going to be the GT's main competitor. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, um, product specialist for Nissan. Leaf going into year 12, so we don't get the newness and the excitement of being brand new. But with 500,000 plus units, we are a well-known, reliable nameplate for an everyday car. Yeah, they're pretty neat in terms of like how to use everything. We'll let the Archimoto guys explain that, but these are available for you to rip around. It's certainly a good time uh, to go like just blasting around the city in these things. Oh my gosh. So we just got the whole spiel, everything that's happening, and everyone's like breaking and grabbing cars. We came to Mercedes EQS, I think. I think we're going to do this first. What do you think? I think we should. I mean, we're going to try to do everything, but it's pretty exciting. Let's go. Okay, someone's already in the EQS, but this is really, really pretty. Like, I think next to the Mach-E, this is my favorite looking car here. Double the price? But really pretty. Okay, everything is being grabbed and we ended up in kind of the perfect thing to start with. Cyber Orange GT, that's what I wanted anyways. Look at those wheels. That's really gorgeous. What do you think? Should we switch? Yeah, but I might still want to grab a blue. Grab a blue GT? I mean, the light up pony alone is pretty cool. The seats, I, we just sat in one at the LA Auto Show. Uh, we did the little test drive, but now we're gonna go for a proper drive and I'm very excited. So let's check it out. Hi, so you guys are here charging your Tesla and then all of a sudden these cars are here. That's kind of amazing. Kind of fun to see uh, the future. So we all uh, charge forward into uh, 
to uh, a charged <laughs> it is a charge and weld. It's really exciting to see the use of space and, you know, what's, what's going to be the future yeah. of electric cars. I mean, it's very comfortable with that Mercedes. Oh, yeah. It's like being on an airplane. I saw you guys go straight for the EQS. <laughs> but now you're at the Cyber Orange Mustang Mach E GT. This is uh, our pick, to be totally honest. It is pretty beautiful. It's a very public. Yeah. Actually, we have one of those at home, that Grabber Blue. Let's go! Okay, the seats are very comfortable. It's not like the seats are uncomfortable in our Maki, but they're definitely very comfortable in this. I wouldn't like sit in our Maki and then and think they're uncomfortable, but if I was comparing, I would I'd pick this. You? It it's very cushy. much. So this is the, the thing that I've been saying all along. Like if you have uh spirited driving this, <laughs> this, this is this like locks you in like my my yeah. lower back is sort of locked in there's a lot of bolstering on the side that's uh fantastic for you know that type of driving but i still sort of have some reservations about like how comfortable this would be on a long road trip because on a long road trip you know i might sit a little bit off center for a while and change things around um i don't think i don't know it's not bad I, I think I can adjust my seating position a bit more in the first edition premium seats versus these. So for most of the time, I think, you know, the regular seats would be great. So inside the GT Performance Edition, it has some subtle changes. It's like a, a suede type leather. And again, it's vegan, so it's not real leather. Um, there is a different accent here on the dash. Of course, it says GT over here. The seats are, are different that we're uh, talking about. Um, but those are the major differences as far as the interior of the GT Performance Edition. Oh, you can see Liv. We don't have the screen protector <laughs> on here, so I can see the reflection there. That's cool. There we go. <laughs> I was waiting for that sound. He just turned it on and we're ready to go. It feels like a different car, but it isn't, but it's exciting. I'm very excited. So Kyle took a ride in the little Arkimoto to let us out. It's very cute. Looks fun. <laughs> okay, we just left the parking lot and Patrick wants his car already. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that looks really good in the, mm -hmm. the reflection over there. Wow. Not half bad. Okay, we're gonna try our first freeway on ramp with the GT Performance Edition. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Are you sad? We're gonna take it back? <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun to drive. Our car is a lot of fun to drive. Um, I think part of this is, and this is one of the issues that I would have is the GT Performance Edition comes with some really great tires compared to the tires that are on our first edition. Um, but they're summer tires, which means mm. if I ordered this in Colorado, I'd have to budget for the car and some winter tires as well, because you just cannot live on summer tires in yeah. Colorado. People are looking at the car. Oh, just yeah. a little. I, the Cyber Orange. You know, I, I thought maybe, oh, good guy. I don't <laughs> love that. They were pointing, so I had oh. to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, if you're having an argument with someone and you want to shut them up, just take them for a drive in a Please. GT. Yeah, and they'll be like, and I told you, and I have to. <laughs> it won't go well. I'm going to smack you with a mic. <laughs> no, you can't have a GT. No, you can't accelerate now. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> well, looky, looky. Uh, they're everyday AV, right? Yeah. They are behind us in a gorgeous grabber blue. How pretty is that? Bye. I wonder if they're going to buy one now. <laughs> Maybe. They have an ID4 and a Chevy Bolt, and they have a really great channel. So check them out. Can't wait to hear what they thought of it going from the ID4, huh? Yeah. Uh, so compared to the ID4, our Mach-E feels quite a bit faster. Uh, 
than the ID4. Uh, of course, we spent less of the time in a rear wheel drive, which is not the most powerful version of the ID4. But we have an all wheel drive here. Today. But we have all wheel drive here, so we're going to go play around with that and see how it feels compared to our first edition. But yeah, ID4, but now you have GT in your brain, so it'll yeah, be like. We probably shouldn't have started with this. No, but, maybe not. Um, I felt like we're driving all these new cars. Start with one that's the most familiar, and that's the GT. Of course, probably should have started with the GT, not a GT Performance Edition. Oh, Chase. So, what do you think? No. 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 Ah. No. It was it was the price comparison when I realized that I could get a, a used EV, and we could have our Mach E. Or we could just get this. That was the big kicker yeah. for me. And I just, that's not worth it. I still want it. I'm sure you do. It's we very, it right? seems very fun. I didn't drive it. I don't need that power, right? It, it seems very fun. And if you're spending that much, sure, to get the power, get this. But. And it's, we don't drive spirited like that. Most of the time we're going back and forth to work. I say spirited. I spirited. like that. Spirited. So. <laughs> Yeah, the, if you if you drive spiritedly and you drive for fun, I could totally see why you would get this. But for fourteen thousand dollars, I'd rather get a used EV and keep our premium. Or down payment on something else. Yeah, to be honest. Cool. All right, next vehicle, we're gonna take out the Archimoto. I was writing this earlier and I typoed Archimofo. So I feel like if I ever got one, that's what I would have to pull it personally. And there's EV Nomad. I'm waiting to take it out too. So. Love to see what we all think of it. Um, I've never ridden anything like this before, so we'll see. Yeah, there. <laughs> okay, they can go. Is he parking? He's just parking close to us. <laughs> Stop taunting me, Minnie. But Kaylee actually has one at home. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> you do? <laughs> it's such a fun little car. It's not the most practical for everyone, but because it has like a realistically like 90 to 100 miles if you're doing decent speeds but we have a second we have an id4 as our second car so that's our like main vehicles for road trips and the mini is my fun car and i love it <laughs> you're like the devil on my shoulder right now <laughs> should i get it should i not <laughs> i'm but gonna yeah. come visit yeah if you can work it out that we make money by getting a gt can you say that louder well how are we gonna make money make money in the sale of it right Oh. Not in the YouTubing of it, because that could be in like 10 years time. We'll, we'll, we'll sign it and it'll be like a collectible. Yeah, because everyone's going to want that. <laughs> <laughs> Super weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Help. Help me. <laughs> this is fun. This is fun. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, this is, I want one of these too. <laughs> well, you could get one of these or a GT. That's true. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Oh jeez. <laughs> I'm gonna catch the Tesla. <laughs> Just kidding. The region is, is actually very strong as a brake, so. It really is. Yeah. Okay, so we just finished driving in the Archimoto. I drove it at like two miles an hour, and Patrick obviously was ripping it around. For me. Okay. I guess we're gonna go do the Audi now, but what a difference an Audi in comparison to that fun utility vehicle, which was definitely fun, and it only has its applications, but I find it disconcerting. You feel quite exposed. Weird. But if you're used okay. to a motorbike, then you're probably yeah, used to I that. <laughs> if you watched our previous ID4 video, you know that I really love this cabin. I think it's delightful. It's hey, ID. Is that Hey, ID? <gasps> there, it's listening to me. Okay, we're about to get on the freeway, so we're going to try the acceleration if oh we can. Oh my gosh, okay. All right. Feels way better than the rear wheel drive. Not way better, a bit better, I'll say, than the, the rear wheel drive ID4. 
This is hella overwhelming, but it's pretty awesome. We just finished driving in the all-wheel drive ID4, and now we are doing something different. We have the Audi RS e-tron GT. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Wow, what a step, what a jump to this. And I'm really excited because when we went to the LA Auto Show, there's something that really stood out by testing so many vehicles at one time, because you get this really good understanding of the different levels of quality and in this case of luxury. We have not driven a luxury vehicle yet today. This is the first one. I'm super excited by this. I actually think it's gorgeous. It's second to the mach -E, but I like those big schnozzes and look at that. That's a big schnoz. All right, let's go check it out. And now he's going on the highway. Oh my goodness. Holy oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I've never experienced anything like that. Holy cow. Patrick is taking some videos. Whoa, this is beautiful. <laughs> We are now inside the Mercedes EQS 450. Is it 450 plus? Yeah. I am floored. I'm floored. So <laughs> we just came from the uh, Audi RS e-tron GT. Got it right. Yes. And in the same way that that had some traditional features, the EQS has like completely abandoned those. They're <laughs> like so untraditional. We'll show you. I mean, I mean, look, look, look. I'm, I'm floored. It's also Bruce. really, really comfortable. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oops. It's way up there. That, that's a weird part. Yeah, how am I going to close this? Oh, okay. Oh, no, you just grab there. You just grab there. I don't mind that too much. Can you guys hear that? nothing? Yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> it's so quiet. This is so quiet. I have no words. So <laughs> for the Audi, when we drove the Audi, Patrick was like, if I won the lottery, I would get this. Mm, I'd get this. Now, granted, I haven't sat in it and I don't think that there's room for my legs, but if, like, I haven't wanted a car so badly uh, that I would want to go and say like please make me one where my legs can fit or something or even do an adaptation this car <laughs> this is the nicest thing I've ever been in I feel like if you live in your car you would love this so much this is the coolest thing ever oh sound experience like we didn't turn on some of this creep function creep function snow chain mode Oops. <laughs> he rested his elbow on it and turned it off. Well, I'm not leaving. <laughs> I was testing out the voice functions and I told it to turn on the seat massagers because it was the first thing I could think of. I'm not leaving. <laughs> I'm not, I'm getting a massage. I'm not getting out of the car. That's why I'm staying for the rest of the day. I'm very comfortable. Lots of people waiting. I guess we could give this car to every day of you too, but so nice we're back home in colorado just kidding this oh. is a gt <laughs> no you, the pony was lit up <laughs> oh the pony was lit up i didn't see it you gonna light it up again yeah just give me a second and you, you i'll film it okay so anyways, this is the final car of the day, pretty much. There are a couple other things uh, that we haven't really looked at, but this is something we really wanted to do. <laughs> That's a pretty cool feature. So we took out the Performance GT. Now we're just gonna take out this regular GT and see how it compares to our premium, basically, Maki. I say basically because we have a first edition, basically a premium, the couple bells and whistles. <laughs> that? That's pretty fun. 
We started off the day in the Cyber Orange GT Performance, and now we are in the Grabber Blue regular GT. What a great way to end the day because it's very reaffirming. We've tried a whole bunch of vehicles. I love this. I love this one. I love this. Really do like the GT seats, but the interior of the mach -E is one of my favorites, second only to the Mercedes EQS. Actually, now that I say second, maybe equal, but go we're going to go drive. drive so. so we're here in LA for this amazing EV media summit. And one of the amazing bonuses is that we have these EVs and a band that we really, really love is actually playing here tonight in LA. And we get to take one of these beautiful EVs. In fact, the Grabber Blue Performance mach -E, the no, GT. GT. Uh, not, not the performance. Not performance. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we're leaving the performance here. We're just taking the Grabber Blue, but it's amazing. We feel like we're at home. I feel like. Yeah, it feels very comfortable. It feels yeah. very much at home, especially seeing the blue hood as we look out. Yeah. Familiar dash. Now so. we're just driving around the parking lot, but we're about to make our way to the show in West Hollywood from Pasadena. So cool that we get to go in a mach -E that feels so familiar. There's the Archimotos. Oh, yeah, this whole parking lot, like four levels of it, is filled with our EVs and also just other ones. Like there's BMW i3s, there's Teslas everywhere. There really are. This is awesome. Truly awesome. Ooh, how cool. It's actually just doing until it, there it goes, there's Blue Cruise. Let's go. Well, that was fun. <laughs> and it is... 1.48 a.m. And we're about 30 minutes from the hotel and where all the EVs are, where we will be meeting at 9 in the morning tomorrow. So we'll get a couple hours sleep. And we're good. in the Hollywood Walk of Fame, so I'm looking Yeah, at that's why I was like, oh, you need to catch us. It's gorgeous. Um, <laughs> it's a fun area. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, you stop traffic. I stop traffic. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun area. Oh, wow. Hollywood and Vine is Hollywood pretty famous. Hollywood and Vine. I yeah. literally did not realize you were on Hollywood we're, Vine. Yeah, we're on Vine and crossing Hollywood. That is so fun. That's cool. Oh, cool. Oh, it's our turn. Let's go. <laughs> and now we are on our way back to Blucifer. Wait a minute. <laughs> Should we name it? It's Goosefer. It has a G and GT. Okay. <laughs> it's almost to uh, the mishaps with the credit card machine to get out of here. So hopefully they let us leave. And we can get some sleep and then play with cars in the morning. Woo! Good morning, everyone. We are back on our awesome rooftop with all these amazing cars. There's the Grabber Blue that we took out last night. Patrick just, uh, I think he got it to 100%, so it's ready for a full day of fun. So, uh, got some coffee, ready to go. Let's see what's happening. And that is a friend, a new Facebook friend, I believe. 
So how cool is that? They came to say hey and check out the day. So we have star white, grabber blue, cyber orange, pretty epic. Where is he going? Oh, is he going where I am? Should I move? Oh yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look what was hiding behind this maquis. Wow. Wow. We have, uh, you know, full, full kits on all of the cars here with super detailed information. And then on the other side over here, we have the Volkswagen ID. It's actually from Germany. Um, it was here for the international launch, which coincided with the auto show a few weeks ago. Um, but just to give you the full kind of overview of the Taycan model line, uh, back in 2019, in September, the car was launched. It How cool is this? We got a couple Maki's out here. It's our new friend with the Rapid Red and the Star White. How cool is that? Hi. 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 <laughs> What's your name? Hi, I'm Rachel from Southern California. Yay, and who's this? <laughs> <laughs> this is California Chrome, Yay. named after the horse. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> the famous racehorse. Awesome. How long have you had her? I have had her six weeks as a of, uh, the just a few days ago, six weeks. Congratulations. Thank you, I love it. Awesome, so what are your favorite things about this car? Oh my gosh, so the car that I had before this <laughs> took premium gasoline. So to be able to drive by gas stations, look at the horrendous prices of gas in Southern California, it's so, so exciting. And the other thing I, I really love about it is, um, I really like the tech and it's been working really well. I enjoy that. Um, I. Um, I like the color I can see it at night. <laughs> and, and it's really, you know, we put solar on our house. So awesome. I'm actually charging um, pretty much for free. So the solar is actually um, totally being able to charge the car. So that's been great too. That's phenomenal. Like yeah. you literally have a carbon neutral vehicle. That's yeah, amazing. big change. <laughs> So had, you hadn't driven electric before this? Actually, I had not. Um, I only drove this one in one other car, and this was there was no choice for me. This one was just it just drove it drove the way I was hoping it would. It felt like a car, you know. It wasn't uh, totally out of uh, the wheelhouse of being able to uh, tackle a brand new technology. So and I and it's a very comfortable ride. I like it a lot. That's phenomenal. That's awesome. So have you gotten a lot of people asking you stuff about it when you're on? about? Yes, I, I actually enjoy being an ambassador. <laughs> Call myself an ambassador for the Mustang Maki. And um, people have great questions and it's it's fun to actually go and charge places or park in a parking lot and have people come up and I'm so excited to talk about it, let them see what it looks like inside. It's great. That's amazing. You're such an awesome ambassador. <laughs> well, it was so nice to meet you. Thank you. Hey. They're not going to be able to park with swarming them. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Liv. How you doing? Oh. Compact than they, they expect. It's way more compact. Yeah. Basically, there's a locking system in the back that's protected when you lock the car. So you plug one side in, wrap everything through, plug it in when you lock the car, locks the cable to the vehicle. Cool. Yeah. That's super cool. Oh my gosh. That's epic. What did you press? Oh, so the lines right here? Yeah. There's a, a tech sensitive <gasps> button under that. That's crazy. Do you want me to activate for your video? <laughs> Hi, I'm Patrick Anderson, and this is the Maki Vlog. Today, we're going to take a look at the new Rivian. So let's go. <laughs> How's that? It's cool. Yeah. This looks pretty amazing. All right. Do you think I can do it without dinging it? No. Oh. <laughs> uh. Have you seen everything is these sort of recess buttons to open stuff? Have you seen how to open it? I saw them demo it for you. Isn't that cool? I am, I'm hella impressed with this car. 
<laughs> this is not a handle design that I like on other vehicles, but it's my favorite so far. Really? Yeah. Like the Kia V6 and the Hyundai. Uh, yeah. Yeah, hey. These these are kind of like, almost like the Model S and that they do pop out. The car like it's yeah, it's, it's like a cross between Model Three Y and S. Look at this! Oh my goodness! This feels solid as hell. Wow! 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 This is amazing. Look at all these finishes. These textures, ventilated seats, multiple metal inlays, and they feel solid. There's no plastic here. This feels solid. Reality. You want a photo? Oh, there we go. Oh, no way. It was <laughs> a, a little button. touch. It's a little button in the front. <laughs> That's crazy. That's just like the charging port. That's cool. Where do you live? There's some address on this photo. There's <laughs> The so, the thing about this is like 30 you're not hearing that tire performance profile of these tires so much, there's no reason that I would ever choose one of the tires. Yep. Yeah, this one's definitely going to be your biggest range. So this is. So I call this our little Easter egg hatch, by the way. You hear the bird? I do! I, I knew about that, but it was cuter than I was expecting. <laughs> the Caribbean. No way! So open the uh, front trunk, open the bed, um, lock, unlock. <laughs> that is so useful. Yeah, it's the best Not too heavy. That is Pretty the pocketable. coolest thing I've ever seen. Thank you. I'll take it. I'll love it forever. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Wow. Thank Dennis you. Then it's got instructions of door handle and then rub it around red right around here to power the vehicle on. To not to power the vehicle on, but let the vehicle know you're here and ready. No way. Thank you so much. <laughs> you did it! <laughs> I know, you were like, I would fall off that thing and I look over and you're doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, I think Will's wife? Yeah, she just got it done. It matches my shirt. This is Will and his wife Marty and this is the amazing brand newly wrapped Tesla Model 3. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. So we're gonna do a shirt to match it, right? Yeah, yeah let's do it. Okay, these guys are super fun. She's got a whole bunch of aftermarket stuff on this. Uh, I think she's gonna turn the lights on to do something weird, but this is a really tricked out car. It looks amazing. I love this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, my gosh. Is it purple? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's it. I turn them to different colors, too. My favorite color is purple, so I just leave it as purple. I think we need to get this Maki and then put those lights on it. Yeah. <laughs> Took out the other one last night, so we want to take this and just see if it's that great. I think it is, right? I love it. <laughs> on camera. You know, it's on camera. I've never. I've always said I don't particularly like the look of the Mustang Mark E, but what they've done with the look of this now, with the body kit and the performance, it looks good. It's transformed it. To drive though, what's it not good at? I haven't found anything. It's a blast. It can do the school run, the countryside, the car park, the highway. The yeah, I'm really impressed. Heard it here first. <laughs> really impressed. Well done, Ford with the Mustang. Mark E, Performance GT. Love it. Okay, so let's sum up what we think after driving the GT Performance Edition and the GT Regular. <laughs> I 
just pointed at me. Patrick is talking people's ears off. I think they parked their car here and uh, were interested in what was going on. So of course he's right by the Grabber Blue. Probably talking about Maki's and all the awesome EVs here. Look at all this. That's the Kilowatt car. This is gorgeous. Oh, so hot. Um, IOC. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh there, oh no, oh. Oh. Okay, we're all done. Oh my gosh, look at the sun setting. Sunset. Okay. It yeah. looks prettier in real life. And, and we gotta go. It's just blown out. Yes, we. <laughs> There's so many wonderful cars and so many amazing creators. Everyone that's in this community is absolutely fantastic. We're going to list everyone down below if you are looking for amazing EV content. So many cool people to follow. And I promise just talking to these guys, everyone is so genuine and so into this stuff. And it's just been phenomenal to meet them all. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Cars are amazing. People are amazing. And um, that's why we're been, late for our flight. Yeah, we're <laughs> late for a flight. We got to run. <laughs> yeah. So let's go. Hopefully we'll get there.